is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 8 of Dropout Idol Fruit Tart. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> um. Attention, welcome. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Welcome, hi, you, Nina. What's wrong? What is? I thought it was something else completely different. I thought something bad was gonna transpire, like into something worse. But no, we're we're just making curry. Okay, I, I mean, I ain't mad about that, but there there could be something else in this episode. You never know, like. I don't think this whole episode will be them just making curry, which, I mean, yes, that's probably, you know, a way to relax. Some people use baking or reading, listening to music, going out for a walk, um, hanging out with your dog or other loved ones. But okay. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, nothing but curry today. <laughs> okay, shoot. Yeah. She didn't have to eat it all. It really does. I just want to know how you saved or even salvaged curry for two years. Makes you want to see their uh, like homes, you know. Maybe they should all just go on vacation to where everybody lives. That would be so nice, but no. You're not gonna put that in the curry. Okay, vegetables, good. Fruits, um, bread, no. You, you don't want to put that in there. Like, the only fruit you may want to put in curry is apples. I've heard that tastes really good with it, but I, I don't know about no watermelon. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. A 
of course Ho Ho will record you. Yeah, I mean, you know, trying new things is something that idols have to do. So, you know, having someone record you and then put it on the internet. Yeah, people might go nuts for that. I don't know. Maybe there's a fetish for that or something. I mean, fetishes are weird. And somebody probably has a fetish like that. I don't know why, but you never know. Because, like, me, I, I can't stand hearing other people eat. It is, like... I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. And people are like, no, oh my God, it's so soothing. I'm like, no. <laughs> Do we have to make that sound? <laughs> Rogo, you got this. Yeah, we gotta make it sexual. Uh, no. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Hi, you. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You just got alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, hold on. I, I give a yes, yes. Sake can be used for cooking. Alcohol in general can be used for cooking. But how much is it going to enhance the flavor, though? I mean... I don't know, I've never really had, like, white wine and food before, or even red wine, or any type of alcohol in food, so how much is that gonna really infuse, like, steak, or chicken, or spaghetti, or, I don't know, broccoli? Can you put alcohol in broccoli? Or any vegetable? I know you can put it in fruits. Especially, you know, when you soak it up with other fruit and everything, and then you maybe put, like, a punch, sangria, whatever, but... I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, basically expensive. <laughs> Where do you go? Where you shop at? 
I would be ha ha. This might be the most yummiest curry ever or the most disgusting. I mean, they're using the right traditional ingredients, but I don't know. I'm scared. Like, oh my god. No, I mean it looks good. I feel like I'm watching that moment in like the new Pokemon game when you're like, it's you and your Pokemon and you're getting ready to eat it. You don't know how it's going to taste. Uh, uh, yeah, it don't taste good, does it? Yeah, maybe combining sea urchin and king crab probably is not the best thing. Oh, your birthday passed though. I, I mean, maybe... Crab, yes, but I, I mean, still, as someone who I do like seafood, but I mainly like shrimp. Um, I think if I wanted to make curry, I'd probably just either use like vegetable or the traditional chicken, either one, because I've heard those two are the best. <laughs> I'm at two academy. Rogo, are you trying to learn something from your sister? I do love the fact that, you know, Roko still supports her sister, even though, yeah, she's still jealous of the fact is that, that her sister is taller than her. I mean, you can do that if you really want to, but still deep, deep, deep down within herself, Roko still loves her sister and still cares for her. Oh. <laughs> Short baby, oh my god. Oh god, that's what she's gonna be known for now, isn't she? <laughs> well, I mean, Hemo and her sister go to the same school, so it makes the most sense.
It's because you're taller. Yeah. It's like that. You know, when people see tall people, they automatically think they're mature. It's a 50 out of 50 with us tall girls. Well, better for both. So you're about to have a cat and mice felt with you, Siri, right there? Well, I mean, because of the fact that you two are both short, but yeah, I mean, yeah, Noah, you are taller than Roko. <laughs> And plus, yeah, you are a fan of hers. See, okay, hold on. You say that, but your room possibly saw that stuff of Roko. True. Well, I mean, yeah, that's smart. But then, hold on. When somebody calls your name, does not... I mean, does everyone not freak out for a moment or at least think? Oh, hey, she's got the same name as the idol. Could that possibly be the same person? <laughs> I think so. You say that, but look at your face. I mean, you read about that. When was the last time these girls got paid to be idols? How much? No, see, that's the big question I want to know. How much do idols normally make in like a year? How do you explain that to like the tax people? I mean, it's easy to explain. It's no, it's it's a little still kind of difficult to explain to someone about you know a social media job, and such. You don't even know like they don't even know what to put it on, and you don't even know what to put it on. So you did? Do you just put other or I, especially as an idol? What do you put as an idol? <laughs> Nina. The It just, you know, <laughs> teeny time she a closet pervert. Except, no, no, Nina, not a closet pervert. She's just out there. <laughs> oh, God. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
she go? She didn't mean it. Oh, we know. Yeah, you have to press the. <laughs> Poor baby. Thank you. They seem pretty, pretty cute. But yeah, so going back into the situation of curry, I mean. Curry is good. Never tried it. Would love to make some homemade Japanese curry because I literally live not that far from an Asian store and I can go there and go get it because I've gone to Walmart several times. And you know when you go into the international food section or also you go to Publix, people who also live in the state that I live, if you have a Publix, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. People who don't live in this state with me. I'm sorry that you don't have a Publix, but Publix is literally the best thing that we have here. I'm sorry. Like, oh my God. But when you go to Walmart or Publix, they normally don't have that. They'll have, like, a lot of other international foods. And normally, I'm over there looking for freaking Pocky um, and such. But there has not really been a time where I've gone to Walmart and or Publix. And I've never found, like, the, um, the packets, the instant packets of them that I could just come home, make either white rice or brown rice. Because I eat more brown rice than white rice. And then boil some water and then make the curry or like that or the one with the little squares that's like the roux but yeah I would like that but yeah I got an Asian store like right down the street from me and I could walk there if I wanted to but this episode was good I mean it was nice to see um Kimi Yamatsu as almost like the second main focus don't get me wrong Really? She got cat ears? Or is that her hair? No, see, that looked like her hair, but then that also looked like cat ears. I, I mean, I, I don't know. She a little suspicious right now. Very, very sus. I'm almost done, baby. Like, okay, I'll also say this. Like, at first, I thought I was not going to like the twins. Like, typically in some shows that I've watched in the past, when it is usually um, sisters and or twin sisters, I usually either end up hating one or both of them. And with it, I mean, like, with, because of the fact is literally Rua, no, Nua, Nua pink haired. Uh, she reminds me immediately of the girl from Pretty Potter and uh, with blue hair, and I could not stand her. She was um super annoying, and I get the fact is like she got mad at Lala because of the fact is Lala didn't wanna um be in an idol group with her, and in the end, you know, Lala, um, Mira, and Sophie ended up making Salami smile, and then the other um. The two twin, the sisters, and uh, what's her face ended up making dressing parfait, and so she's literally almost like hated her until like <laughs> since the beginning of the series. But they're really good friends now, though. But I, I mean, they cute. Like, still, Chico was still like second best girl for me, other than like Nina. I mean, because Nina and <laughs> they share like so many fucking similarities. 
it's not even funny but still I mean today was a really good episode I loved like just seeing them all cook curry I loved learning about like where they've all lived and where they're from and everything and you know what's the best thing about you know their city or town but still you never want to take some curry and be like yeah I want to put king crab canned king crab and canned sea urchin in it and that should be good there are some things in the world and especially when you are in your kitchen or anywhere that should not be mixed together and so you know we've now learned let's put on this list today on um November 30th at 2:21 p.m. Do not put can king uh, yeah can king crab and can sea urchin in your curry because it's not going to be good. That's like how okay and this is the most disgusting thing that is on like the secret menu for McDonald's and I don't know why anyone would get this. It's that land sea and air like sandwich thing that is like it's a it's a burger. It's a fish sandwich and it's a chicken sandwich all in one why would you want that like no be, mm -mm. D just either give me like a regular cheeseburger or like a quarter pounder but n not no land sea and air like no <laughs> like what is your problem <laughs> like i said some things don't need to be mixed together that's all but it just you know Sometimes the experiments are good and then sometimes they're bad. This experiment today was a bad one. So lesson learned. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futurist episode 8 of Drop Out Idol Fruit Tart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 9. Bye, guys.